Every six months, the planning board provides an update on past, present, and future activities to the county council in a semi-annual report. Susan Kennedy is here with more on what this latest plan entails. Susan? Lorna, planning staff typically presents its semi-annual report in the fall and the spring. It's an opportunity for the board to reveal its work program and to brief council members on important parks and planning issues. This year we will be recommending that a couple of master plans be moved, moved around in terms of their order of priority and that we add uh, one new minor master plan amendment because we did get an application that we think has some very good economic development potential. So we will, the planning department will be recommending adding that one and moving another one out. So there are a couple of changes in which parts of the county would be getting minor master plans first. The Department of Parks has also been recognized nationally for its continued commitment to allocate its resources responsibly and in collaboration with other county agencies. In 2012, the Montgomery County Parks Foundation raised over $415,000. They have instituted all kinds of, economic, of fiscal reforms. Uh, they have done their best to get rid of unperforming assets and at the same time uh, do basic maintenance. You know, they're still clearing up after that derecho last summer. Well, at the same time, they're moving forward with new, new parks. And the acquisition of parkland, which is a long-term commitment to green space in Montgomery County. As the county begins to slowly emerge from the effects of the recession, planners are making progress on six master plans designed to improve the quality of life in those communities. Those plans and changes to the development review process will provide greater flexibility in the way we grow. We've sent up uh, the Chevy Chase Lake sector plan, which was a, a very big um, lot of discussion. It's been very contentious in the community. I think it'll be interesting to, to hear the council's discussion on that when they get to it. Um, and we have spent a great deal of time working on our zoning ordinance rewrite. That has not gone to the council yet. We're still um, in the last stages of it. But that's been um, a very big undertaking and one that we're very excited about because we really think it has a tremendous amount of potential to help county residents. In Rockville, I'm Susan Kennedy for County Report This Week.